This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning. Welcome to the Chapel of Trinity Church in Southport, Connecticut. Today is December 9 of the year 2020. We are observing morning prayer for today, Wednesday after the second Sunday of Advent. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Alleluia. The Venite is Psalm 95, verses 1 through 7. That's on page 724 in the Book of Common Prayer. You can find it also at bcponline.org. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In the sea, in his hand, are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Psalms appointed, Psalm 38 is found on page 636 in the Book of Common Prayer. Domine, ne in furore. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath, for your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh. Because of your indignation, there is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me like a heavy burden. They are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning in my heart. O Lord, you know of all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding. My strength has failed me and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand off afar. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and who do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord my God. I said, 
Do not let them rejoice at my expense, those who gloat over me when my footsteps, foot slips. Truly, I'm on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me, because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lessons A reading from Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 13. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me! I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, O Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and say to this people, Keep listening, but do not comprehend. Keep looking, but do not understand. Make the will of this people dull, and stop their ears and shut their eyes so that they may not look with their eyes, and comprehend with their minds, and turn and be healed. Then I said, How long, O Lord? And he said, until cities lie waste without inhabitant and houses without people, and the land is utterly desolate, until the Lord sends everyone far away and vast is the emptiness in the midst of the land, even if a tenth part of it remain in it. It will be felled and burned again, like a tenebrith or an oak whose stump remains standing when it is filled. The holy seed is its stump. Here ends the reading. The third song of Isaiah, Sorge Illuminare. Arise, shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will be always open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, Violence will no more be heard in your land, 
ruin, or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no, no more be by light. By night, you need not the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly, and the love of everyone for you, for one another, is increasing. Therefore, we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your steadfastness and faith during all your persecutions and the afflictions you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God and is intended to make you worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are also suffering. For it is indeed just of God to repay with affliction those who afflict you and to give relief to the afflicted as well as to us when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. These will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction, (coughs) separated from the saints, and to be marveled at on that day among all who have believed. (coughs) Excuse me. Because our testimony to you was believed. To this end, we always pray for you, asking that our God will make you worthy of his call and will fulfill by his power every good resolve and work of faith so that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ might be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Here ends the reading. The Song of Zechariah, Benedictus Dominus Deus, from Luke chapter 1. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from all the hands of those who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our Lord, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. On the Trinity prayer list, we pray for the sick, the suffering, and those in distress of any kind, especially Mary Case, Richard Scott, Michelle, Nuala, Philip, Sylvia, Donna Schmidt, John Duncan, Bert, Kathy, Don Callahan, Harrison, Brad Olson, Steve J, Farrar Mansfield, Joanne Garten, Whitney, Chris, Isabel Cortese, John Rogers, Rachel, Nancy Long, Patria and Peter Swan, Margie Fowler, Adam, Di Venere, Lisa Favorini, Sam, Drew Lipner, Kathy, John, Claudia, Sean Sullivan, Janet, Tom, that you would heal all injuries, comfort all griefs, and settle all wrongs. Who else do we need to pray for? Come, Lord Jesus, and hear our prayer. In your kingdom, O Lord, even the wilderness and dry land are glad and rejoice. We pray for those who rejoice this week that they might obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing might flee away. What joys do we give thanks for? Come, Lord Jesus, and hear our prayer. In the fullness of time, O God, you sent your Son to be born of our sister Mary, and his name was Emmanuel, God with us. We thank you for your presence with us, and we pray that you might always be present with those whom we love and no longer see. We pray for those who have died, especially for James J. Stout, father of Stephen Stout, Janet Ellis Gillis, and all who have died from coronavirus, and for those who love them. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation in your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the The needy, O Lord, be forgotten, 
nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give grace to us to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Grace. O Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers with, with, with which we offer before you, all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining with us in morning prayer this day.